friends, how are you today? You are probably wondering where I am. I am still inside my house. I am being safe and healthy, as I said before, but I'm trying to find the light. So I was in um, a room where there wasn't a lot of sunlight for you to be able to see my story. So I have moved into my dining room. So I am currently in my dining room getting to read to you and I have a really silly story that I want to share with you. The story is called The Watermelon Seed and it is about an alligator that loves to eat watermelon. And I know that in the summertime I love to eat watermelon too. And I have some things in my story stretcher bag that are some different kinds of food, and I do have a slice of a watermelon that's in my bag, but let's see what else I have inside of here. I have some asparagus, a stalk of asparagus. I have an orange pepper. I also have an orange. I have some lettuce. I have a tomato. I have an apple, and the last thing that I have in here is a nice crunchy carrot. And I'm looking at all of the different things that I have in my bag, and I am thinking about sorting all of the objects that were in my bag. And you know how much I love to sort when I'm at the hands-on house. And I could sort this food according to all different kinds of rules. I could sort it according to shape, because I see lots of different things that are round. That's food from my bag. I could sort according to color because I see things that are orange and I see things that are red and I see some things that are green. But because my story today is called The Watermelon Seed, I have decided that I'm going to sort this food according to the type of food that it is. Now looking at all of this food, do I have junk food up here? No, this isn't junk food. This is healthy food, isn't it? All of the food that I have here have lots of fruit or have lots of vitamins and minerals to help your body grow nice and strong. So the kinds of food that I have here are fruits and vegetables. So I have a bin here that says fruit, and I know that it says fruit because it begins with that F, and the F makes the sound can you make that sound too? Good job. So I'm going to put my fruit bin right here. And I have a bin for vegetables. And vegetables is a nice long word that starts with the letter V. And our vegetable says V, V, V. Can you make that sound too? V, V. Good job. So I'm going to move all of this food onto my lap. And I am going to sort them according to which ones are fruits and which ones are vegetables. And I know that a fruit develops from the flower of a plant. And so for it to develop from the flower of a plant, all fruits are going to have seeds that are inside of them, just like our story of the watermelon seed. And a vegetable is a part of a plant that you are able to eat like the root of a plant, or the stem of a plant, or the leaf of a plant. So I'm going to take a look at all of these, and I'm going to think about what I know about them from me having eaten them before, or having seen them cut up, or other people having them. And I'm going to decide if it is a fruit that has seeds, or a vegetable that's a part of a plant. So I'll start here with the watermelon, because I can already see the black seeds that are inside of the watermelon. So I know that if it has seeds, it is a fruit, and fruit is going to be over here with our letter F, so I'll put that in the fruit bin. The next thing is a carrot, and I have eaten lots of carrots before, and I know that if I were to bite into a carrot, it does not have seeds. Carrots are the root of a plant that grew inside the ground, and so a carrot is a vegetable, so I'll put that over here. How about this lettuce that I have, this nice green lettuce? I've had lots of salads, and I know from eating lettuce that it does not have seeds. The lettuce is the leaf of a plant that grows. So if it is the leaf of a plant and it does not have seeds, it is a vegetable. Can you point to 
which one of these bins is the v, v vegetable bin? Are you pointing to this one? Good job, I'm gonna put that in here. And how about an apple? I bet all of you have had apples before. Inside of an apple, if I were to cut it with a knife, I would see little black seeds inside of this apple. So point to the bin of where an apple belongs. Is an apple a fruit or is an apple a vegetable? You got it, an apple is a fruit, so it's gonna go over here. And how about an orange? If I were to cut this orange and look inside, I would notice that it does have seeds. So is our orange a fruit or a vegetable? It is a fruit, I'll put it over here. And I have a nice piece of asparagus. This is a stalk of an asparagus if you've never eaten one before. And I will tell you that it is the stem of a plant that grows in the ground. So if it is a stem of a plant, it is the part of a plant that you can eat and it is a vegetable. And the last two I saved for last because they're a little bit tricky. The first I have is a tomato. And I bet that some of you have been told that tomatoes are vegetables. And lots of people think that, but in fact, tomatoes have seeds inside of them. And tomatoes are actually a fruit because they have seeds and it is from, and they grow from the flower of a plant from outside. So tomatoes are fruits and I have a pepper. And if you've ever cut a pepper, you would look inside and see that there are lots and lots of seeds that are inside of a pepper. So even though some people think that peppers are vegetables, they are in fact considered fruits and I'm going to put it over here in my fruit bin. So you did such a nice job sorting all of those with me today. Remember how much I like to sort, as I said, at the hands-on house. You can sort things according to any rule as long as you pick the rule and you're able to um, put your objects into categories that fit and follow the rule. And so today I chose fruits and vegetables. And it goes along with our story of the watermelon seed. So let's take a look at this story. It's written by Greg Pizzoli. And on the opening, it says right here, have you ever swallowed a seed? Have you ever eaten a food that has seeds and you've swallowed the seeds? I bet you have if you've eaten strawberries or if you've eaten bananas, they have seeds inside of them or on the outside, and you've eaten them before. And it's okay if you've eaten them. Nothing has happened to you. But the character in this story is an alligator, and he eats a seed, and it makes him very, very worried. And this story is a circle story. It begins in a certain way, and it's going to end in the same way. So let's take a look at it and let's see how it begins and how it ends um, in order to make a complete circle. So there's a nice bite out of that watermelon. The watermelon seed. I love watermelon. Chomp, chomp, chomp. It's the best. Ever since I was a teeny tiny baby crocodile, it's been my favorite. Chomp, slurp, chomp. I like it for breakfast. I like it for lunch. I like a big salty slab for dinner. And I love it for dessert. Take a look at him. He's in the baby carriage eating his watermelon. Here he says, I love watermelon. And take a look at this piece that he's about to get into his mouth. Do you notice that little black seed that's left in the watermelon? Gulp. Oh no, he says, I just swallowed a seed. I swallowed a seed! growing in my guts. And here it looks like he's looking at an x-ray 
and he's looking at a watermelon that's growing in his belly. He says, soon vines will come out of my ears. My stomach will stretch. My skin will turn pink. Is any of this true? Will this really happen if you eat a watermelon seed? No, none of this will really happen. He says, I don't want to be in a fruit salad. Somebody please help me. And here he is crying. And maybe you can notice he's in the fruit salad there. <clears throat> he says, oh no, I can feel it growing inside of me. <gasps> it's happening right now. My stomach feels funny. And look what happens. He does a loud burp and out flies the black watermelon seed. Oh, here's the seed. Oof, that was too close. No more melon for me. Never again. Big X on that watermelon. Do you think he's going to be able to stay away from watermelon if it's his favorite food? Well, maybe just a teeny tiny bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Oh, and there he is again. Look, he's holding his belly and he looks really nervous and worried. I think he probably ate a seed again. So in the beginning of our story, the alligator ate a watermelon seed and got very, very worried and upset. And at the end of the story, he ate another watermelon seed and he's worried all over again. The end. And taking a look at this end page, I see it's such a cool illustration of the inside of the watermelon and these black seeds. So what I did at home was I took a white paper plate and all that I did was I painted it and you could use markers or crayons or whatever you have at home and I colored the whole rim a green and then I colored the inside a red and then I just took my scissors and I cut it apart so now it looks like it's a nice slice of a watermelon and then what you can do is if you have black pom-poms or black little pieces of construction paper or maybe little black beads you can put pom-poms or black seeds on your slab of watermelon and you can practice your counting so maybe you want to just put a whole handful on and then with your finger, touch each one to practice your counting, like one, two, three, four. Or you or your family could tell you to pick a number and say, put on five watermelon seeds. And then you would take the seeds and you would put them on for practice, saying one, two, three, four, five. And then you can clear it and start all over again, practicing your touching each one as you count and saying your numbers out loud. That might be a fun activity for you to do while you're at home with your family during this time. And until then, keep playing and learning at home. And soon I will be seeing you at the hands-on house where we can play and learn together. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye.